cost is always a factor anywhere. And the APD, we, we have not ever uh, tried to give the indication that the APD is the only factor that affects price. Um, so clearly, anything that drives fuel costs upwards and uh, uncertainty and instability in, in the Middle East uh, is clearly having a negative effect on on oil prices and threatening to hurt travel and tourism uh, wherever it causes jet fuel prices to go up above certain levels and the fuel surcharges then become another added cost to to travel into the Caribbean and elsewhere. So there's no question that what is happening in the Middle East is a threat. However, having said that, um, it is it, it, it would be uh, also an area that uh, depends to a certain extent on travel and tourism. Every country in the world has been itself uh, growing in its own uh, focus on travel and tourism as, as an economic driver. And the Middle East over the last five years has been going through a phenomenal transformation in terms of trying to drive world travel and tourism in their direction. Uh, there is, is, is not unreasonable to expect that some of the long-haul travel to that part of the world will in fact now uh, be transferred elsewhere, at least in the short term. It, it is not the Caribbean style to, to revel in, in the misfortune of others. From time to time, you know, the, the incidents that can take place, whether of natural causes or by uh, political and other social uh, upheaval all over the world and so these things always have short-term at least uh, uh, impacts on, on, on travel and tourism everything from terrorism to whatever else however quite often the misfortune of one area of the world becomes the benefit of another we expect that uh, some of the business that may be diverting from the Middle East could actually come to the Caribbean.